Hi guys, it's Stan from Stan's Custom Creations, and as you can see, we have a car. So by now, I'm sure that you've seen Chris's video on Tofu Auto Works on our new MRC project. This is going to be the base for the New Zealand car, and this is the car that I 3D scanned for us to develop the 3D model on. I thought I'd make a video that gives a bit of a breakdown on what we've been up to the last year, year and a half, in the background, and uh, what you can expect from the future. So my background's on 3D scanning and design work, whereas Chris obviously is very hands-on with his fiberglass work. So we've been working together on creating a 3D model that he can eventually 3D print and then use his fiberglass skills to turn into moulds. And if you haven't already, please go check out Chris's YouTube video on Tofu Auto Works. It gives a really good overview of what we're planning to do and shows off the concept really well. We've had a great response so far, quite a few questions, so hopefully this video will clear up a few of those. So believe it or not, Chris and I have actually been working together for over two years now. The first project I helped him with was the Stagia wide body. Uh, you can see here I 3D scanned it and then mirrored the 3D scan so that he could 3D print it. We didn't actually do any 3D modeling for this. After successfully 3D printing the mirrored side, Chris was pretty set on this process. And so we thought we would try to design something in CAD and then use a scan as a reference. And that was this diffuser here that you're seeing. So Chris 3D scanned it with his Morocco scanner. And then I used that scan within plasticity to design this diffuser. About this time, we realized that we actually got on really well and our work styles complemented each other. We both come from engineering backgrounds, however we differ slightly in our work process. I tend to think in dimensions and tolerances, whereas Chris thinks in proportions and ratios. Having a bit of both is really good, especially for a project like this MRC project. We decided to collaborate, it had to be something that would really stand out if you took it to a car meet or drove it down the motorway. It was pretty easy choice choosing Group C to be honest. We both grew up playing racing games. Most racing games had Group C cars, Gran Turismo and the likes. We decided the rough plan and we're creating homage to the Group C races of the late 80s and 90s with this project because we do have different tastes. We've decided we're going to do two cars. First car will be Chris's car over in Japan and that will be built to his tastes. And then the second car will be my car here in New Zealand and it will be built to my tastes. So step one was to acquire a very straight, unmodified MRS for me to 3D scan, which will be the base for creating our CAD model. For step two, I then imported the 3D scan into Plasticity, which is the CAD software we're using. And then on top of the 3D scan, we could start 3D modeling the body design. For step three, there was a lot of back and forth from here on decisions on how to refine the design. We found that sharing a screen on a video call was the best way to work. We did a really cool thing where we had a 2D drawing that had plan and elevation views of the body, but no vents on the side of the car. We went away separately and came up with a few concepts each and did a reveal. What we found is we had quite a few common design elements that we both wanted on the car. Then that also spurred a lot of cool concepts, especially with vent placement. Now step four is to use the CAD model to create renders for the reveal video. Now the reveal video is actually already out, so if you haven't seen it, please go and watch it on Chris's channel. So now that the render's done, what's next? Now that the body's been modelled, we've actually got the ability to 3D print it off in sections. So if you followed along with the Stagia build, uh, the process will be very similar, except rather than just doing the fenders, we're doing the entire car. So doing this project, there's quite a few design considerations that we have to think about. Firstly, the front windshield. It's the only part of the donor car that's actually visible from the outside. You can see here Group C cars have a really nice teardrop shape that's nice and smooth. But on the MRS, the front windscreen's quite a bit wider. To make this work for our design, we had to cleverly sculpt it to make it work with the Group C silhouette. We workshopped this heavily and even did a design study overlaying a whole load of different designs just to make sure we could get the right proportions. The plan at this stage is to have a full cage that closely follows the roof of the cockpit so that it acts as bracing as well as giving good rollover protection. Just like the windscreen, the wheelbase was very slightly shorter so we had to deliberate on wheel and tyre specs quite heavily. The idea at the moment is to go 17 inch front, 18 inch rear. A nice meaty sidewall will give us that true Group C aesthetic. 
One of the big issues we know we've got to face is that the front suspension isn't going to work in its current setup. To fix this, what we're thinking is we're going to go to a double wishbone setup. I will be doing a dedicated video on all this, but at this stage I'm thinking of using an NC or RX-8 front suspension arms and geometry, but adapting that to the MRS chassis with a custom front subframe. In my head this has a few bonuses, such as adapting to 5 stud and giving us options for larger brakes. There's really quite a few awesome engine conversion options available. You can go K-Swap, 2AZ, VR6 and the 18T from Audi and Volkswagen. Chris is very keen on a 2GR for his car. If you want to see what a 2GR in an MRS looks like, definitely check out Gears and Gasoline's latest build series. So I suppose you guys want to know why we chose the MRS as a base. Chris and I spent a long time looking at potential options. We wanted something that was common worldwide, fairly inexpensive to purchase. We did see that there was someone else who has made a similar car out of a K-Truck. We briefly looked at K-Truck chassis as it was very low and wouldn't require much modification, but decided after looking at it that it wouldn't achieve what we wanted in terms of performance. We briefly considered a Porsche Boxster, but once we discovered that all the body panels unbolt on the ZZW30 MRS, we were pretty much sold. They're super lightweight and have fantastic handling from factory. Coupled with the fact that they aren't super desirable like a RX-7 or a Sylvia, hopefully people won't mind so much that we're cutting them up. Now, will the finished product be road legal? We don't know. That's what we're aiming for, but as every country has different rules, it's really hard to figure that out. Our plan at this stage is to create the New Zealand version, which is this car, and the Japanese version, which is the one that Chris is building over at his place in Japan. We decided pretty early on that we didn't want a rule book to dictate the design. We wanted the design to come first and then everything else to fit around it. So the goal is to make them road legal so that anyone can buy one of our kits, buy an MRS and make their own at home. Now there's so many aspects to this project and while we have thought of a lot of things, if you guys do notice anything that you think, hey, they should know about this, please let us know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback especially anything related to the new suspension design that I'm going to be doing or the engine conversion. These are things that I do have a background on and I can get friends to help me out, but I'm really keen to get you guys to help us out. Now, once again, check out the full build series on Tofu Auto Works YouTube channel. The link will be down in the description, as well as both of our Instagram pages where we'll be posting fairly regularly. So the next video that I'll be releasing will be on the 3D scanning of this. So make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.